Welcome to another Lost Relics video, lostrelics.io. In my last video, I showcased how you could complete Forgotten Chambers, the very first map in the game, just with the basic things. In this video, we're going to be moving forward to the next map in the game, ideally like played with rare or uncommon equipment. I'm just showcasing some of the different equipment that I have in the game now. The first three are uncommon blockchain items. These dropped like crazy when I started playing. Some of these items I have bought, some of them are event related and some of them have dropped in the game. I'm going to be using uncommon equipment in this video. This can be used in forgotten chambers as well to just go even faster through it. We're going to bring a crude pickaxe if you're going into the second dungeon. You should have played enough to have gotten one of those and you probably also have a pet so i'm going to be bringing one of those with me as you saw in the first video these uh, we have barrels and statues in the game that you can smash for resources the pet just kind of does that for you now the second map is is a lot <laughs> a lot tougher than the first one normally i play with items like the harvest of sorrows the gradient pumpkin we're going to go like um, easy mode in on this. So we're bringing in things like gray mushrooms, apples, fish. We have a lot of these consumable items in the game that are very cheap. Six gold, 10 gold, 20 gold that will give you energy back or health when you are damaged. So if you're going to go in here, be sure to bring some degree of healing with you, at least until you have learned the game. I recommend you like... Get the walnuts, get the dried blush berries, get the, the honey. These are still fairly easily obtainable drops in the game. But if you can't get those, get some consumables and take them with you. Now, I'm using my, my blockchain items because I have them. Blockchain items are items that they're not like removed. You don't lose them when you die. If you don't have those, you, uh, you're you going to go to the shopkeeper and buy some uncommon things. I'm going to showcase that as well. For now, just note that I'm bringing in apples for healing and I want something for energy as well. Now note that the one, two, three, four area cannot have duplicate items. So if you want to bring in more of a thing, you need to drag them down to your inventory. Then you can bring like pretty much as much as you want. Like you can see here, four apples and four energy potions so this is going to be like way more than what we need but just bringing it in there if you don't have rare or uncommon blockchain items weapons that you can use you can find the shopkeeper right here if it doesn't say night <laughs> if it's night she's sleeping you can go in on the weapons and you have a few different things that you can buy these 2000 cost weapons are all uncommon and they deal the same damage as the uncommon blockchain items. There is also a feeble ring of rejuvenation. If you have this on you in the one or two or three or four slot, it will heal you four hit points per second, up to 700 hit points every time you're in a dungeon. But note that if you buy these weapons and if you buy this ring and you die with them equipped or you exit the game while you're in a dungeon, you're going to lose them. But the power, the power is really needed. It is really needed in order for you to complete these maps in any kind of decent uh, amount of speed. But anyway, we did Forgotten Chambers in the first video. Now we're going to go Arcane Pits. Forgotten Chambers had one difficulty. You could go in with common and uncommon gear. Now we're going into Arcane Pits. A bit of a different type of loot. It is a two sword difficulty and you can bring in common, uncommon and rare equipment. But let's go in there. I'm not going to go as uh, as nitty gritty in on the game as what I did in, in the first video where I like showcased whenever I was holding shift and things like that. I'm expecting that once you're hitting this map, you have learned the basics of the game, how to rotate the camera, hold shift to stand still, choose to swap weapons right click for more damage use energy stay away from fire all of those things i just really wanted to go through the different dungeons in the game and showcase that they can be completed relatively easy without having crazy pay to win kind of gear so that is that is like the main <laughs> main thought behind these 
getting started kind of video guides. Here we have an ogum. The ogum is uh, is a pretty pretty cool creature that can actually drop a legendary item called fragmented ogum claw. And we have a node here that we can mine to get different resources. What you want to see getting started is of course iron ore because you can sell that for. It has been sold all the way up to 200 gold for one, but right now it is roughly 80 gold for one iron ore. So that's a lot of money, a lot of gold that you can make by, by farming these things. Once you get higher, better at mining, you will also be able to get blockchain items. Basic things though is pick up everything. Pick, pick up everything in the game. Try to stay away from fire and try not to be chain ganked. As you can see, I ran over this area just as the fire was coming back up and that was bad. Here I'm holding down shift so I don't go into the flames, run through and attack on the other side. You don't want to be fighting while you are standing in flames. <laughs> so much pain and suffering, it's a bad idea. A lot of these vent areas will have a bit of a timer on them. Fire comes up, then you can wait, fire goes down, then you can pass over it. So try to time it. Some of them are on all the time. Some of them are off all the time. So if you are low on health, like keep, keep an eye on it and just figure out the best way to, to cross them because you take fire damage when you run into it, but also damage over time afterwards. Once again, going here, hitting shift as soon as I see the fire come up so that I stop right before and then I run through. Here we have an elite down there shooting fire at us. This is a must kill opponent, ranged, crazy damage, damage over time because it sets you on fire. So you want to get that one gone like as soon as, like just kill it as like your number one foe. Get it down, get it down. All right, we have another mining ore over here. Arcane pits that we're playing in now is probably one of the most popular maps in the game because you have these mining nodes, you have four chests, and you have pretty easy opponents. So once you get rare items, the walnuts and stuff like that, I showed you guys in my inventory, once you have that for healing these blockchain items, the walnuts, the honey, the dried blush berries, they will give you energy and health when you use them two times per map. And unlike these potions and fish and apples, they're not like they're not gone when you have used them, so you can use them over and over and over again. All right, first chest. So another thing I wanted to touch in regards to completing maps. What does it mean to complete a map? I only did three chests. I'm going out. The goal is to survive. Win, win the game, take your loot out with you. Don't go back through fire to find a tricky opponent to possibly die and lose your items, use your experience gained, lose your gold. For me, when I reach the exit, I leave the dungeon. I never, ever, ever go back. Some only want to be doing 100% completions because every time you take down an opponent, you have a chance to get good gear. I don't do that. When I see the exit, I go out, secure my loot. We're just going down to the Royal Emporium now just to show you guys like pricing for, yeah, we didn't really need the apples and stuff like that. But if you go in here and you hit like the consumables tab, you can see different potions, different types of food, fish, stuff like that, that you can buy. Like you can see six gold for an apple, a lot of healing, discreet health potions, so many things down here that you can buy for very little gold that will keep you safe, like allow you invisibility potion, get out of a tricky situation. So a lot of things that you can look into here. So that was what I had to share in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully gonna be covering all the different dungeons one at a time with relatively low tier gear. Put it down there in the comments what you would like to see in following videos. As always, thank you very much for watching. I absolutely love you guys.